Now we successfully integrate the MySQL database with Eclipse. You can view that database from here. Go to Window and choose Open Perspective and choose Other Option and choose the Database Development and click OK. From the Data Source Explorer window, you can view the database connection. Here is the database connection that we recently created with the MySQL. Okay. Now the next step is to be how to integrate all these Hibernate jar files with Eclipse. Here we already downloaded some two set of jar files. First one is the Hibernate release 4.3 and another jar another set of jar files called Hibernate annotations. Now we have to integrate these two jar files, these two set of jar files with Eclipse. So here I am going to create a user library in Eclipse and when we created a new project if that project required hibernate we can add that separate create that new user library to that particular project so here i'm going to create a new user library so for that just go to window option and choose the preference and in this text field in this text uh, in, the, in this text field just type user libraries and on the under the build path option you can see a user library option choose that one so here a new button is available click that button and it asks for enter a user library name a user library is nothing but it is act as a folder that folder contains some set of jar files corresponding to some framework or some database connections etc so when the situations occur you can easily add all these user library to your project that means you can easily manage all the jar files with the framework jar files of particular framework in this user libraries that means you can reuse this same user libraries among multiple projects okay so here i am going to provide a user library name i name it as hibernate 4.3 and click ok now here is the library is created and now we have to add all the jar files into this library and click this and here is an option add jars sorry click add external jars now we have to specify all that jar files now first i have to add the hibernate release jar files go to lib folder and here is the required folder choose all these jar files and click open ok now we have to add another jar files again choose the hibernate main folder and again click add external jars now come back and choose this one click open now again click that folder main folder hibernate 4.3 again click add external jars come back and there is no need to add this optional now now come to this click open now again come to the main folder add external jars come back and choose this one click open again come back and choose invoice ok now we successfully added all the jar files needed for the hibernate core 4.3 ok now we have to add jar files for the annotations so again click external again click the folder and choose add external jars now come back to Hibernate tools folder and here is Hibernate annotations and go to lib folder sorry first we have to add this one Hibernate annotations and click open always choose this one otherwise that library is not added that jar file is not added into the main user library always make sure that you select this one and click external jars and choose lib 
now here this 2 1 and click open now again choose Hibernate 4.3 and external jars this one Hibernate validator again click add external jars ok now we add all the jar files needed for the Hibernate connections ok now one more jar file you need to add is the database jar file here is the mysql connector jar file you need to add that one also choose that one and click open ok now here we add a lot of jar files a lot of jar files are here but for creating basic applications there is no need for all these jar files but it is better to add all these jar files we add a number of jar files here ok uh, now click ok now we successfully integrate the Hibernate jar files with Eclipse IDE so when we created a new project we can easily integrate that Hibernate jar files from that user library to our new project